What's up guys, it's Alex here and I have lost again for the subscriber league here. As you can see, I lost by nine points to Kareem Hunt, didn't do it. And it is because Lamar Jackson absolutely sucked last night, got 14 points, but he, I mean, 14 points is still awful and he should have gotten at least 23, which would have given me the win, but he just looked even worse on the field. So he has not been a great pick so far. I drafted him as the QB one and he is currently QB 12. So a bad look there, but there is a pending trade in this league. I will be trading Stefan Diggs and Justin Jefferson, who are the wide receiver four, and then Jefferson just absolutely went off this past week for 30 points. I am trading them for Kenyon Drake, who will be a great RB2 and potentially even flex once McCaffrey comes back. I'll have McCaffrey as my RB1, then Gurley, and Drake splitting time as the RB2 and flex, so I should have a really good team here pretty soon. Hopefully it ends up working out pretty well. We'll kind of see what happens, but I'm excited to see what this team looks like here in the future. But as it stands, I am currently one and two here. I think I'm 10th out of 12 teams in the league, so it's looking pretty bad here. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the box scores here. For the rest of the league, I am not doing well this season so far. As you can see, I did lose by nine. Taking a look here, it's just some notable performances. Dak Prescott with 28 for Kareem Hunt, didn't do it. And then 25 from James Conner, 13 from the defense, which is always good. And then I had 30 from Keenan Allen and 13 from the Browns defense. But, I mean, nothing else just really good. I would was never going to start Justin Jefferson over OBJ, Stephon Diggs, and Keenan Allen anyway. So I'm not too upset about uh, not having Justin Jefferson in the lineup there. But, yeah, I did end up losing that one. Taking a look at Team Mariska versus Team Goats. Team Goats just absolutely destroyed 148 to, to 87. And I will be trading with Team Mar Mariska there to get Kenyon Drake. And then uh, A.J. Brown, who is not projected to play this week, I don't believe. But he should be a really good R or wide receiver, too, or potentially even a flex play, depending on what happens with Gurley and all that for my team. So it'll be interesting to see how he does end up fitting on my team. But just taking a look here at the box score rate, Kyler Murray with 22 points, even with three interceptions. It was just crazy how that ended up working out. But then Patrick Mahomes with 40 points, Derrick Henry with 27, Tyreek with 22, Cooper Cup with 26, and DK Metcalf with 19. Should have had even more, but he decided to try to celebrate before he even crossed the touchdown line and ended up fumbling into the end zone. So a bad move on DK's part there. So yeah, Team Goats ending up with a huge victory there, 148 to 87. Then Team Abella is in danger, is moving up to 3-0 and on the season, winning 139 to 119. They had Alvin Kamara, who just absolutely went off. He's my favorite non-colt in the NFL. I absolutely love him. Having him in my main league with all my friends. 44 points from him. Got on with 17, but he is looking like he is hurt, so he may end up missing a couple weeks. Juju with 15, or Juju with 16, actually. Then Matt Prater had a really good game for a kicker with 14. Team Moore Kittlebell had 19 from Big Ben. 30 from James Robinson, and I have him in my main league as well, so I'm really excited to see what he does as the RB2. But then the rest of his team just kind of disappointed. DJ Moore only with eight points. Marquise Brown with only three. Jordan Reed did get injured, but he only had four. And then Joshua Kelly disappointed as well with five. And then Buccaneers defense actually did pretty good with 19 points there, but not what he would have hoped for, and he did end up getting the loss as the result. And then a really close matchup here between the New England Patriots, who are now 3-0 and in the league so far. Beating the champ is here from Tanner Trout by three points. So it was a really close game, but the champ is here just wasn't able to get it done. Did have Josh Allen getting 31, CEH with 18, Kareem Hunt with 14, and then Bobby Trees, Robert Woods with 22. But then over there for the New England Patriots, they had Tom Brady getting 24, D-Hop getting 24 as well. Calvin Ridley currently the wide receiver one on the season with 17. Aaron Jones currently the running back two on the season with 16. Then Zach Ertz getting 14, Patriots defense getting 13. Just a good look all around for his team. He did end up having Aaron Rodgers on the bench, but I mean, with a 0.7 difference between him and Brady, it didn't end up mattering. Then taking a look here at Zachary Springer losing 102 to 159 from Saquon Godley. I mean, what else could you say? 159 to 102, 3-0 for Saquon Godley. His team just absolutely popped off. Russell Wilson with 37, Eckler with 31, Lockett with 37, and then just great performances by the rest of the team. Even with Devontae Adams out, he was still able to score 159 points, which is just absolutely crazy. And then Zachary Springer over there did get 24 from Nick Chubb, 10 from Carson, 26 from Gallup. He had a really good end to the game. But then everybody else on the team disappointing. Deion Lewis, don't know why you would start him, but I guess he does have Michael Thomas, so he was out too. But Thomas and Devontae kind of canceled each other there. But yeah, a 57-point spread right there. Huge win from Saquon Godley. Then taking a look at the last matchup here, 
Team Cronin getting their first win of the season, 135 to 83 over the now 0 and 3 New Jersey Gobblers. <laughs> Carson Wentz ended up with 22. He got some pet, stat petting there in overtime. Then Dalvin Cook also getting 26. Allen Robinson with 28. Devin Singletary with 16. And then for the New Jersey Gobblers, just bad all across the board. Tyler Boyd was the only notable performance there. Taking a look at the benches, Jimmy Graham on the bench with 24. Mike Davis with 23. But it didn't end up mattering because he was able to win by 52 points. A huge spreads right there. 52 points there, then 57 points here. Then what is this? Almost 60. All right, I think 61 points here. Just crazy games across the board. But taking a look here at the standings after three weeks here in the subscriber league. Should be pretty interesting to see what the standings do end up looking like. We have, I mean, you, you can see me right there. A hunt, or one and two. I don't know why the camera. Okay, there we go. I don't know how long the camera's been kind of fuzzy like that. But we have myself being fifth in the East. Not a good look at all. And I think 10th overall. Top four teams do get in the playoffs. So right now would be the New England Patriots. Abella is in danger. Saquon Godley and Kareem Hunt didn't do it. So there you have it. There is the uh, week recap of week three. Hopefully it wasn't. I don't know if it was blurry for basically the entire video or not. I apologize if it was. But now here at the end of the video, you can finally see i guess everything clear but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you're in the league good luck to you next, uh, here in week four unless you are my opponent but i don't even know who the opponent is this week let's take a quick look it is team more kittlebell so team more kittlebell i hope that you lose to me but everybody else good luck and i shall see you all later